All right, everyone, buckle up, put your seatbelts on, because this video is about to get bumpy. It's gonna be a bit of a wild ride today. Starting with this brand new extension to the train guy station and minecart rail network um, that many of you commented saying that I should add. So I listened and here it is. I hope you like it. This part of the track connects the mines to the storage room all the way to, okay. I, I ran out of iron, uh, couldn't help it. So that's all the tracks that I had. So we're gonna have to do something about that. When this is finished though, I'm gonna be able to travel on it all the way to the village, which is all the way through this spooky tunnel. And no, I know what you're thinking. This is not to replace my amazing horse moonlight, you know, but if anything were to happen and you know, I'm prepared. But for now, I need a whole lot more iron, which means another trip back down into the mines and I missed my ride. Guess I'm walking. All right, we caught up. Give it a push, come on and jump in. Go, 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 go. Just as the sun goes down, so too do we go down into the mines. Just like the rest of my world, the way that I mine iron is pretty bare bones. I know building a farm would be much more efficient and I'll probably do that in the future, but for now, hooning around on this sketchy minecart track is just so entertaining for me. Goodbye world. <laughs> Hey, okay, so here's the here's the cavern that I've been mining in. This thing is It's getting smaller though. Not iron, but I'll take it. Oh my gosh. What the Oh, zombie. So down I went deep into the uncharted parts of these monstrous caves and before long I had collected a whole load of raw iron. Enough to finish the track and then some. Watch out. Dude, watch out! for the zombies. That was dangerous, man. So I got out of there, took it back to the station and smelted it down. Did somebody say iron? It's not much, but it's an honest day's work, right? Hopefully, hopefully that's enough. To be honest, that's probably two stacks should be enough, right? Well, the rest of that cooks. I'm going to go put these tracks down. See how far we get. So just a whole lot of this, right? With the rails all crafted, all I had to do now was place them through the tunnel that I dug out all the way to the village. Once I got to the end, I wanted to do something a little bit interesting for the termination point. So I made this little system that pops you out of the minecart and resets itself for the trip back home. And that now we can finish the intro, I guess. You know, I could have gone over the mountain, could have gone around it, but I decided to go through it. It just, it's so much faster, so much easier. But it takes us all the way here, spins us around, and look at that, it kicks us off right at the doorway and then right here we got some magic it's just like a classic open sesame that shut really fast though. there it is no villages allowed hey you where are you going no one don't look inside this this building don't look in there don't ask questions nothing is happening in that building hello guys how you doing would you like some pumpkins i brought a lot so yeah, now we've got a fun new way of traveling between the base and the village. But we're just getting started. We're about to take this to a whole new level. You see this little minecart track here is really short compared to how far we're gonna be traveling today. I want to be able to travel out into the far reaches of my world, but the best way to do that is, you guessed it, through the nether. Every block that you travel in the nether is equal to eight blocks in the overworld. So I'm no mathematician, but if you do the maths, you can travel pretty far. All right, how did we do this again? Colby, I missed. Colby, <laughs> boom, there we go. My nether spawn is so sketchy. Of all the biomes, of all the biomes I could have spawned in, why was it this one? Why couldn't it just be a nice flat piece of land? The Basalt Delta is a uniquely difficult biome to build in. Not only is it incredibly difficult to traverse, it's also filled with lava and these magma cubes just spawn everywhere and they keep attacking you. All right, I got my work cut out for me. I need to clear out this whole area and just make it safe. Make it safe. Just make it safe, he says. What does that even mean? We're in the nether. Nothing's safe. The whole time I was doing this, I was getting chased around by magma cubes. I kept falling into lava and getting shot at by ghasts. I think we're gonna have to make a few more terrain changes. This thing here is like blocking the view. This big nub of terrain. So I think I'm gonna have to dig this out, which I don't wanna do. 
but I'm gonna have to do it anyway. Okay, more work. What really happened by me clearing out this terrain was that I actually created a perfect platform for Gus to shoot fireballs at me. So I devised a little bit of a plan to try and minimize that while I was building. I'm starting to think that this was a, a really bad idea. <laughs> we managed to get some terrain done, and I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of, I've, I've managed to create kind of like my own biome, somewhere between kind of the overworld and the nether. Um, but it's a start. We've got some cool stuff going on, and now I just have to fill in this big hole in the middle. Put like a nice big safe area that I can stay and live in, and just be left alone. For the design of the nether hub, I chose to use mostly white blocks. White is a peaceful, neutral color, and when you're running away from fireballs, something that looks and feels safe becomes somewhat of a beacon of hope. This guy's got chainmail boots! I added a little peek hole in this door, so I can check if it's safe to go outside before I go out. Uh, and uh, so far it looks good. Man, ghasts have been shooting many things at me. Oh, it sucks, but we, we did it. I finally had a place to call home, but that's a bit generous. Maybe dial it back. It's it's not homely. It's, it's safe though. So I had a place to call safe. There's actually something funny that, that I wanted to add. I think it'll be really cool. This is a special design. Um, how high? How high do I put it? Let's go here. Do one stair that way. Another one that way. One like this. Jump on top. Do one here. Boom. Can you guess what this is? Can you guess what this is? It's supposed to be me. I don't know if it looks like me at all, but that's the... <laughs> that's actually pretty sick. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm talking about. This place... Everything is gonna get... No, stop it, stop it, stop it. I think it's gone now. I think it's gone. All right, it's now time to take these boats on a, on a trip <laughs> into the far reaches of the nether. We gotta dig out these tunnels now. I got three of them. One, two, three. I should probably label which direction they go. Uh, and then obviously we've got this one. What, dude, there's so many of them. No, okay. Uh, I need to go back to the overworld first. I really want to do this because the overworld is nice and safe and this place is dangerous. Oh, what a breath of fresh air. It's so, oh, don't you just love the overworld? It's so good, it's so good. Well, anyway, ice roads need ice. Makes sense, right? I, I had none, so it was time to head down to the boat shed and take off on a bit of a mission. Um, that one's full. What about you? You're empty, we're taking this one. Uh, how does this work again? I, it was already open. I forgot to lock the door behind me. Whoops. Trying to find a specific block from a specific biome can be challenging at the best of times. But I remembered near my base was a jungle, and near the jungle was a whole frozen mountain. Now that I was all loaded up on ice, the only thing left to do was head back to the nether and dig out these tunnels. Any, mini, miny, whoa. Yes, great idea. Go the most dangerous way first. That's a great idea. My pockets are full. I, don't, I can't take this stuff. Why is there so much lava? Oh, that's right, it's the dinner. Oh! It's red. And not even just slightly red, it's like fully red. I'd finally left the Basalt Delta and crossed into a brand new biome, the Crimson Forest, which meant it was time to do some trading with the locals, but first I needed some gold. Dude, this is, this is fast. That's, that's crazy fast. 
I just remembered I need my own gold boots. Off comes the nice diamond ones and on goes the gold. After going out and searching for some piglins to trade with, I realized it would be so much easier if I just took them home with me and kept them in my nether hub. Which one of you guys? I know that one of you wants to ride the ice road. Get in. Yeah. <laughs> I bet this is the fastest this guy's ever been in his life. Whoa, this is so quick. Look, friends, friendship. You guys are gonna love it here. Oh, oh I, 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 get out the way. Move. Beep, beep. We are almost finished this portion of the road. Almost there. Just need to put down a little bit more ice. And uh, this will be the first tunnel done. Construction of the second tunnel took quite a bit longer than the first one because a huge portion of the blocks that I had to dig out were basalt, which took a lot longer to mine through than netherrack. And because of all the mining that I had done up until now, my tools had taken an absolute beating, so I had to make a quick trip back to the overworld and do a little bit of trading with my villagers to try and repair them. Huh? The third tunnel was also pretty difficult, being mostly just basalt and lava, but we pushed through and got it done, leaving only the last ice road, which would be completely exposed. I have been in the nether too long, hanging out with these pigs and staring out at this little tiny hole here in the doorway. I think it's time that we finally get out there, go travel, build a portal, See what's on the other side and uh, explore this world a little bit. So we need to choose which way to travel, either on this track here or one of the other three. And I thought a fun way to do that would be kind of uh, <laughs> making use of the ice. So if you get motion sick, you should probably look away now because we're about to start spinning. <laughs> All right, where are we going to stop? Oh, looks like it's going to be back this. Oh, I kind of turned the camera, but there it is back this way. So. Let's get the boat. Let's go traveling. All right, excuse me, guys. The nether hub was finished. I now had a safe place to return to after all of my adventures, but now was the time to set off on a new adventure and explore some new trails. So I'll see you all in the next one.